Get your free trial of our training for lawyers at www.teachucomp.com forward slash lawyers. One way to ensure that your email is more secure is to purchase a digital ID. The digital ID, also often called a digital certificate, proves that you are who you claim to be in your email by proving your identity to the recipient and aids in reducing email tampering. It does this by adding a unique code to your mail message, which can only come from the digital ID of the sender. The first step in using a digital ID is to acquire a digital ID. The process is slightly different for an Exchange email account versus a POP email account with a PST folder. If you are not connected to an Exchange server, then you can get a digital ID by selecting the File tab in Outlook 2013-2010 through 2010, and then clicking the Options button. In the Options dialog box, select the Trust Center button. Under Microsoft Outlook Trust Center, click the Trust Center Settings button. Then click the Email Security button. If you're using Outlook 2007, select Tools and Trust Center from the menu bar instead in the Trust Center window, then click the Email Security button. Then in both versions you can click the Get a Digital ID button within the Digital IDs or Certificates section shown. At that point your web browser should open and display a listing of digital ID providers. Simply select the provider that you want to use and click on their hyperlink to follow the instructions on registering for a digital ID. The selected authority will then provide you further instructions via email. Once you've installed a digital ID on your computer, you will need to select the digital ID that you want to use. Some individuals may have more than one digital ID. For example, one is used to provide a digital signature, which can have legal significance in some locations, and another could be used for email encryption. To select a digital ID to use, follow the same instructions we just went over for your version of Outlook in order to access the email security window in the Trust Center again. This time, however, click the Settings button that's shown under the Encrypted Email section to open the Change Security Settings dialog box. Note that if you use a digital ID, the settings will already be configured for you. If you want to use a different digital ID, then click the New button under the Security Setting Preferences section. Then type a name into the Security Settings Name text box. In the Cryptography Format drop-down list, select SMIME. Note that depending on your certificate type, you may need to select Exchange Security instead. Next to the Signing Certificate label, click the Choose button to then select a digital ID that you use for digital signatures. Then ensure that the Send These Certificates with Signed Messages checkboxes is checked. Also note that the settings you specify here will be the default used for all cryptographic messages sent unless you uncheck the Default Security Setting for All Cryptographic Messages checkbox. Note that to send and receive encrypted email messages, both the sender and the recipient of the email must share their digital ID certificates with each other. When you or a recipient of your digitally signed email receive email that is digitally signed, you should open the email. Note that digitally signed email is denoted in Outlook by the signature icon in the message list shown within the inbox. Once the email message is opened, the recipient should right-click on the From line in the email message and then select the Add to Outlook Contacts command from the pop-up menu that appears. If there's already an entry for the individual within your Contacts folder, then select the Update Information of Selected Contact command within the Duplicate Contact Detected message box that appears.
The old contact information is then moved to the deleted items folder. At this point, the certificate is now stored with the contact information for this individual, and you can send encrypted messages to this person. Now, if you're using an exchange server for your email, your administrator can give you a token to use the exchange server digital ID if one has been installed. To do this, you follow the same instructions before for your version of Outlook in order to open the Trust Center and then click the Get a Digital ID button. Then click Set up security for me on the exchange and then click OK. In the Digital ID Name text box, you type your name. In the Token text box, you enter the password for your Exchange Administrator. In the Microsoft Outlook Office Security Password text box, you type a different password of your choosing and then re-enter the same password into the Confirm text box. You will then receive an email from your Exchange Administrator that will require you to re-enter the password that you just created. In the dialog box that appears when you open the message, enter the password you created and then check the checkbox for Remember Password for and then enter the number of minutes that you want Outlook to remember that password. Then in the Root Certificate Store message box that appears, click the Yes button. You can then send digitally signed email through your Exchange server email account. Like what you see? Get your free trial of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash lawyers.